Hey, welcome back to another unboxing video. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give Things From Another World a second chance with these mailers. And let's see if the books, they're moving around a little bit in here. Let's see how they turn out and see if uh, we get them in a little bit of a better shape this time around. Let's get to the unboxing. All right, here we go. Let's get this mailer opened up here. And you got the nice things from another world branding on the tape on the back. I've got my lightsaber here. I'm just gonna melt the tape, get this guy open. Now, if you've watched my other Tifa unboxing videos, they'll send books in different ways. I uh, had a little bit of a disappointing run with uh, the last one where they sent in this mailer. Contents kind of shift around, bags and boards were damaged. So this is my second chance. It's kind of a round two. I want to see how this turns out. Um, see if we can get the books in a bit of a better shape. Much better. It's essentially just a piece of regular tape right in here. Take out the packing slip. And let me see what I got in this order. Now uh, I use TFA as my uh, my pre-order source, so any books that I'm regularly subscribed to or trying to get incentives from uh, or just doing FOC, I use things from another world. They've been very, very good to me. But occasionally I miss a book or I want to get some extras or sometimes they'll uh, slip in uh, incentive uh, onto the store and then I kind of grab it um, after the fact. So. This, it's, uh, it's wrapped differently. Um, this is paper, it's, it's torn, but um, the other one came in just some clear plastic. So it was just a cla clear plastic bag and the contents kind of shifted around. This was not taped to the inside. Uh, so it was just this sort of outer package laying in the mailer. Um, the way it's wrapped, it, it feels almost like a trade paperback. So let's tear this open. see what we got now at first glance on these guys I don't see that damage that was there before looks pretty good still using those stickers though <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say about that but uh, um, we'll just keep going uh, if I turn these around so they they're at least sort of alternating how they're stacked but definitely arrived in better shape. So there was no outer damage to the packaging. So I don't want to say, oh, it was uh, um, USPS or something or FedEx or UPS. Uh, it was just packaged differently. And either through luck or the packaging, these books, uh, at least the bag and boards, as you can see, they didn't it doesn't have any of that that corner damage where the bags and the boards were just so mangled. So let's see what was ordered. We have here X Factor number 10. This is the Dodderman Connecting Hellfire Gala variant. Uh, this was one I grabbed when X Factor 10 was spiking and I just got a variant cover. Um, I won't spoil the contents unless you want to read it, but X Factor 10 spiked a little bit, so I wanted to grab an extra copy. And this was the only cover that uh, TFA had available. All right, this, to be honest, is my first bad idea book. Um, without getting into wh who bad idea is or what they're trying to do, uh, I wanted to just grab one of their books just to kind of see, because I had heard about the quality and I, I want to take the book out and really examine it and look at it and see if they're really, um, they really mean what they say in terms of the, the actual print materials, the cover, the cardstock, whatever they're using. And just want to make sure it's up to par. So I, I grabbed this one, uh, Sleigh Bells number one. All 
All right, silk number four. Again, just looking at the the corners, the edge. I don't see any damage, so I'm feeling pretty good about this order. It's looking pretty good. Nice cover of silk four. Red room number two. This one I just missed. Uh, I got red room number one. Got a couple of issues. Haven't read it yet, but uh, um, really interesting fanographics horror anthology type storybook. Uh, just like the cover. Love the, the binary green matrix type background. And then the <laughs> literally poker face here. Uh, looks really, really clean on the spine. Too many. It looks really good. Very, very happy. I hope there's nothing I'm missing here, but this looks so much better. I was a little worried down there in that corner. You know, not sure what to make about that just yet. It, I think it's okay. It's a little bit of tearing. Could just be just that normal corner splitting that you see every once in a while. Geiger number four. Uh, I think this was another one that I just flat out missed. I have uh, several copies of one, two, and three. I uh, just forgot to subscribe and uh, didn't pre-order number four, so I wanted to grab an extra copy of this. Looks pretty good. Don't really see any damage. Very nice. All right, now this one, I believe this is Basilisk number two, I think, the Martin Simmons variant. And this should be the 25 copy Virgin. A huge fan of Department of Truth. Really love his art. Actually have a piece of his original art. Uh, I think it's from Department of Truth 3. Um, just, I know a lot of people didn't like the art or the art was took some getting used to. I actually loved it. I really thought it was um, it just married the, the story and the art so well. So when I saw that uh, he did a, a variant for Basilisk, uh, I jumped on it. Uh, sometimes these, these uh, ratio variants will slip back into stock at Things from Another World, and uh, they don't last long when they're there. So I'm happy to get this cover. Looks great. I don't know what uh, preview will be in here, make this book spike. Um, I'm just kind of buying it for the the cover art and hopefully the story. All right, now I've seen a little bit of noise on this one. I'm just going to tap it and move it around so it's centered in the bag so we can take a look at it. Uh, this is Canto 3 Lionhearted, number one. It's, I don't know, is it technically Canto 10, 9 or 10 or 11, issue 11? They keep resetting the title. So this is Canto 3 number one, but this is the, uh, I think this is the 25 copy. So I'm glad I jumped on this. Again, looking at this, I don't even see any curling in here. Looks very, very flat. Definitely a little bit of, a little bit of damage there on the bag and board, but looking through the bag, it looks to be okay. Something right there on the corner, I'm not sure. Uh, that might be something that takes it to a 9.6, but uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Very, very happy. Uh, might be a little bit of, a couple of spine ticks, very minor non-color breaking right in there, but looks really good. Very happy. So I, again, in the bag, I know uh, you have to take it out and grade it, but uh, at least in the bag, it, it appears to be in a 9.6 quality quality. All right, a uh, couple more to go. These are um, actually three more to go. This is Eve number three. I got the uh, 10 copy and the 25 copy here. Uh, so really cool. Um, this is the 25 copy. Uh, just kind of a, I was gonna say a fun cover. I mean, it's not, not really a fun image, but uh, from just an art and perspective, uh, it's it's cool. I like it. Um, the only trouble I see with this one is down in this corner here. There's definitely something going on right in there. So this may not make the 9.8 or even a 9.6 cut. Hopefully that's the only issue. And if it is, then it, then it would be a 9.6. Uh, I was just thinking, you know, slabbed. Uh, pretty cool piece of art. Uh, I'm kind of all in on Eve. Uh, I have several copies of number one, several of the incentive variants. Uh, I just think it's a 
it, it, it has a lot of potential to be another great story. Um, another good one from Boom Studios. This is the 10 copy. Really clean, great cover. Uh, the bear's not on this one, but that's fine. Great color. So I, I, the, the yellowing along with the, the red and the skin tones, really, really cool uh, color choices on this. Uh, it's really warm, but also kind of speaks to the story as well. Uh, just, uh, yeah, I like this one. Don't see really any issues. Spine looks really pretty good. So great. Looking forward to screening those. Hopefully those get nine eights or uh, stay at the nine six range. And this one I think I uh, I bought before. I just got another one. Um, big Frank Cho fan from way back. Uh, so anything that he's doing, I'm gonna kind of jump on and at least pick up a copy. So this is my second copy of Fight Girls. This one looks to be in much better condition. Definitely a 9.8 candidate. So happy to get this. So. All right, so Tifa, you did much better this time. Really, really happy with these. Uh, really some great books here. Got some really nice incentives. Can't wait to screen these and see which one's got a 9.8. Thanks for hanging out. Happy collecting, and I'll see you next time.